So today we're going to talk about the consequences of a fatty liver that you may not associate with a fatty liver. Let's go through them. Some you will, some you won't. When you have a fatty liver, your inflammatory markers go up, not just in your liver, but through the entire body. The problem with that is it will increase a condition called insulin resistance, okay? So then that, that's gonna increase more insulin. So insulin is gonna create this problem, but then this problem will create more insulin through uh, creating this condition called insulin resistance. If the inflammation is there too long, chronic inflammation in the liver, you start developing scar tissue of the liver. It's called cirrhosis. This is where you start having some really big problems. Most liver problems are asymptomatic. You don't have any symptoms for a, a long period of time until you start losing the actual function of the liver cells. But you would have to lose a significant portion of your liver for certain things to show up, like ascites, where you have this fluid in the gut. That might not show up until like 90% of your liver is destroyed. But the problem is that this can be brewing in the oven without you even knowing it. A real good way to know if you have a liver problem is just look down and see if you have a gut. If you do, that means you have a lot of spillover or fat or visceral fat that's spilling over from the liver because the liver is already filling up with fat. That fat then causes inflammation and eventual scar tissue. So the point is that you want to understand what's happening so you can change a couple things in your diet so you can actually, actually reverse it because you can if you get it in time. Number three. When you lose the function of the liver, you lose the capacity of making bile because the liver cells, hepatocytes, make bile. And bile is necessary um, to dissolve and absorb the fat-soluble vitamins. And a lot of times people don't connect the dots between a lack of bile coming from the liver and their vision, for example, because they have a vitamin A deficiency or their lower mood because they have a vitamin D deficiency or they might have flaky skin, or they might have really sore muscles after exercise that just won't heal because they're low in vitamin E. And vitamin E can also ca cause heart problems and angina, or they might have little uh, broken blood vessels from vi lacking vitamin K. And that all can come from this right here. So when they consume those vitamins, it doesn't really work because they don't have the uh, the bile to help dissolve it and pull it into the body. So they also are not absorbing omega-3 fatty acids. So this will show up in inflammation. So they're taking their fish oil, but they still have achy joints. They still have pain in their body. Also, they might not connect the dots with a thyroid being low because it takes uh, bile in a healthy liver to convert T4 to T3, the active form of thyroid hormones. So they might notice their metabolism is slow, things are sluggish, they lost that vitality. What happens when you lose the capacity of the liver, you increase more toxins because you can't eliminate the toxins with the help of bile. You also start holding on to more estrogen. One of the functions of the liver is to help get rid of excessive estrogen and cortisol. So if you're holding more estrogen, you can start developing really soft skin and lose your body hair just from this alone. This is why right here, because the liver is losing function or increasing cortisol and you're always stressed out. And number four, a fatty liver will decrease testosterone. So some people take the bioidentical hormones, but the real problem is coming from the liver. Number five, they start developing metabolic syndrome might be pre-diabetic or diabetic, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and they're focused on the heart, not the liver. The liver is the cause, the heart is the effect. Um, belly fat, that's the number one indicator for a fatty liver, and heart disease, as I mentioned over here. So there's three big things that cause a fatty liver, and one is called de novo lipogenesis. This basically is the conversion of carbs to fat in your body. So when you do a high carb diet, okay, you start generating a lot of fat that starts depositing in your liver. I put a link down below for more information about this, but people with a fatty liver need to be on a low carbohydrate diet. Also the fructose, the high fructose corn syrup, the corn syrup uh, will create a fatty liver faster than any type of sugar. Alcohol will do it as well. Now, there are two nutrients that are essential for a fatty liver. One is choline, 
because choline helps dissolve fat, especially on your liver. And by the way, egg yolks have choline and vitamin E. But don't get the synthetic version. Get a natural version, a complex, that has half tocopherols and half tocotrienols. Okay, very, very important. This has been known to significantly reduce inflammation in the liver as well as in the arteries and also uh, decrease the formation of scar tissue, which eventually turns into cirrhosis. But don't even think about taking these two unless you first get your diet corrected. The diet I'm going to recommend is the healthy version of ketosis and intermittent fasting together as one. I put a link down below if you're new to my channel. So, and then I would recommend taking these two and this will help you start reversing this right here. All right, thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.